Hi art friends, my name is Mrs. Willis and today we're going to be making something called a self-portrait. A portrait is a fancy art word for a photo, painting, or drawing of someone or something. So when we make a self-portrait, it's a picture of ourselves. Self-portraits are especially fun to make because we can show off special things about ourselves. In the opening of this video, you saw some very famous self-portraits by artists like Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, and Frida Kahlo. Did you notice how unique and different each one of those were? If you didn't, rewind the video and check them out again. Before we start our self-portraits today, I'd like to share one of my favorite books with you. I hope this book inspires you to think about what makes you special, and maybe you can include that in your self-portrait. Okay, this is one of my favorite books, and I think you'll be able to tell why. I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Catro. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all, it all is me, and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so... No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Or beaver breath or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Or yikes with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. I'd like you to take a minute and think about this story and think about the things you like about yourself. Maybe there's something special about you that you can add to your self-portrait. Okay, my daughter Kennedy is going to join us for this next part of the video. Hi, Kennedy. Hi. What's your favorite part of I Like Myself? The whole thing. The whole entire thing? I love the book, too. I especially love the illustrations and, in particular, the one page where the... Um, the girl is talking about how she likes herself fast and slow. And on the back of the dog, there's a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> it's like a rocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the best book. So what are some things you like about yourself, KK? Um, that my eyes are bluish green and just like the ocean. Your eyes are bluish green and they're just like the ocean. I love them too. What else do you like? I'm special. That you're special. You certainly are, just like all of our friends at the Library Arts Center. All right, so let's go ahead and get started in drawing our self-portraits. So we're going to start by thinking about the shape of our face. And if you happen to have a mirror close by, keep a mirror close by so you can look in there every once in a while and really study what you look like. 
So we're gonna start with a basic oval. And we're gonna make it a pretty big oval. I'm gonna start way up here at the top of my page. And I'm gonna make an oval that comes down like this. There we go. KK, you wanna give it a try? Mm -hmm. I'm drawing really light. I always draw light until I get it right. Then I can go over it and make it darker. There you go, Kennedy. Why don't you give yours a try? Beautiful, nice job. All right, now we just have a head floating in space. What's our head connected to on the rest of our body? A neck. Your neck, so we need to draw some necks. Now we're gonna not make teeny tiny little pencil necks here. Think about your neck for a second. It's kind of wide, it goes right up behind your ears. So our neck's gonna kind of come down here on this side and on that side. There you go, nice work kiddo. All right, now what's under our neck? What are these? Shoulders. shoulders. We have to put some shoulders on there. Now our shoulders are wider than our head. So we're gonna make those shoulders come out and go off the edge of my page here and the same thing over there. Uh oh, our shoulders might bump into each other. You wanna go ahead and put some shoulders on yours? Maybe my shoulder can be connecting to yours. Sure, maybe you're in front of me. What do you think? Go ahead, put some shoulders on. There you go. And my friends from the Library Arts Center, if you feel like we're moving a little too fast, feel free to pause the video anytime you need to catch up, okay? All right, I'm just gonna finish my shoulder, make it go down behind <laughs> yours like that. So I'm standing behind you, baby. <laughs> All right, now, what else do we have on our faces that we need to include? Our eyes. Our eyes. Now, a lot of times, when kids are first learning how to draw, they'll put the eyeballs way up here at the top. Is that where they are? No. Our eyeballs are actually about halfway down on our face. So we're gonna put figure out about halfway down our oval. And we're gonna put one eye on this side, and we're gonna put one eye on that side. Now, our eyes are not just circles. I kind of think about them like the shape of an almond or a football, if you could. So think about what a football looks like or an almond looks like. Go ahead and draw those right down in the middle of your oval. Beautiful. Nice work, KK. There's an eye down your face. Yeah, go ahead. Because my eyes are like... You do have big eyes. Big, beautiful ocean eyes. All right, finish up that other one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep going. On the center of your eye, we have colored part in there. And the colored part is actually a circle. So we've got our football shape, our almond shape on the outside, and then we've got that football, I mean the circle shape on the middle. I always imagine that if a, a soccer ball inside the football. Oh, good thinking. Soccer ball inside the football. And then we have the pupil, which is the little black circle in the center. So go ahead and put the little pupil in the center of your eye. Nice job, kiddo. All right, what's next? What are we missing on this face? We gotta think of all the things that make us us, right? A nose. A nose. Our nose is gonna split this area in half. So we're gonna draw just the bottom part of our nose for right now. Some kids may draw noses that look like the number seven upside down or the letter L. Um, I have a little bit fancier way of making a nose. And I'm gonna think about the bottom of my nose as a curved line like this. Then I'm gonna flip the curve and I'm gonna go that way on both sides. So why don't you start with this little curve here, KK? Right about halfway down. Can you make that little curve? There you go. Now it's gonna flip and it's gonna curve the other direction. So the curve is gonna go upwards. Nice work. And then we're gonna go bounce back over to the other side and do the same thing. So this is where our nostrils are, that kind of shadowy hole in our nose. We're gonna put the outside line along the side here like that. There we go, we have a nose. Beautiful. All right, kiddo, so now we have to make our mouth. And guess what? Sometimes kids just are famous for drawing one little line like that. Do we only have one lip? How many yeah. do we have? Two. Two lips. So we've got to actually create two lips, one on top and one on the bottom. We can start with this line in the middle and notice how I made it a little bit wider than my nose. There you go. 
Now we're gonna do that bottom lip, which is just gonna be another curve. It's kind of starting to look like um, a moon if it was on its side, right? So put a line down below, curved line down below. There we go. Now the top lip, I always tell kids to feel right on their top lip, there's a little bit of a dent on your top lip. Can you find it, Kennedy? Yeah. There you go. So that top line of your lip has a dent in it right under the middle of your nose. It's almost like the letter M if it got squished. Can you put one of those squished letter M's on top for your top lip? Awesome. These look great, don't they? All right. Now we're ready for some ears. And I always like to tell kids to draw a line from the top of their eye back to the side of their ear. And you can tell that your ear is just about even with your eye. So the top of your ear is gonna be out here. Can you make a curve kind of like that? Right about the top of your eye? Nice. Now the bottom of your ear, if you can feel, draw a line right from the front of your lip down around to the bottom of your ear. Can you feel that? So the bottom of our ear is actually somewhere down in here. Now sometimes kids draw ears like a big letter C. That's fine if you're looking at someone from the side, but when you're looking at someone from the front, you don't see that big giant curve. It's more of a flat curve like that. So go ahead, KK, put your ear in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it looks good though, I like it. So we're gonna do the same thing over on the other side. So we're gonna kind of connect over onto the other side, draw that line, make it drop all the way down to our mouth area. Now I've got to tell you, KK knows this already, but I have something very special about my ear. I have a little bump. I call it my birth bump on my ear. And I've never seen anyone else in the whole entire world with one of these little bumps on their ears. So I'm going to go ahead and mine is on my right ear. So I'm going to actually put it over here on this side. And I'm going to put this little bump just like I have in real life on the bottom of my ear. Do you have anything special about your ears? That. I have clip-on earrings. You have clip-on earrings. Yeah, maybe you want to go ahead and put on some clip-on earrings. I have a tendency just to wear some little stud earrings, so I'm going to put these right on here like that. Go ahead, put some earrings on if you want, KK. So don't forget those things that make you special. I have a birth bump, but maybe you have a birthmark, or maybe you have a freckle or lots of freckles. Maybe there's things that are special about you that you wear glasses, so you need to include your glasses. Whatever makes you, you, I want you to include in this self-portrait today. Oh, that looks awesome. You Very have jingle cool. bell earrings. I do have jingle bell earrings that I wear at Christmas time, right? Mm -hmm. All right, while Kiki's working on her earrings, I'm gonna go ahead and add some eyebrows. Your eyebrows are right up over your eyes. And they usually look something like this. We can put a line here like that. So it curves above your eye. And maybe if you wanna actually put in those little strokes to make it look like there's actual hairs up there, you could do this. Here you go, you wanna add eyebrows too, KK? Yeah. Those earrings look awesome can't have a face without eyebrows. <laughs> That's right. Or hair. Yo, we've got to do that next. We can't forget the hair. Never, then we'll be a bald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, add your eyebrows, kiddo. There, KK started with a curve, and then she's adding those little lines to make it look like those little teeny tiny hairs of our eyebrows. I'm doing big ones, just like that. Awesome. You have big eyebrows just like Daddy, huh? Daddy can wiggle his ears. <laughs> yes, he can. He's really talented. He can wiggle his ears. And I can go crush-eyed. <laughs> and maybe you want to add some eyelashes to your eyes as well. Just put some little little lines in there for eyelashes. Don't forget me. Don't forget all those details that make us so special. Mm -hmm. Nice work, kiddo. All right, and now for our hair. Some of you might have really short hair. Some of you might have medium length hair. Some of you might have really long hair. 
So you gotta think about that. Take a look in the mirror. What does your hair look like? Does it grow straight up? Does it grow down in your face? Um, do you have it in a ponytail today? Think about those details. Maybe you wish you had a mohawk and you wanna draw yourself with a mohawk. This is your self-portrait, so you can make it however you want. You're the artist. I have a curl at the bottom of my hair. You have a little curl at the bottom of your hair? Yeah. The one thing I do want you to think about, kids tend to just put their hair on the top of their head like this. Now, if you really think about it, if you feel the very top of your head, and then you slide your hand down to where it meets your forehead, it's not just on the top of your head, is it? It kind of comes down onto your forehead. So my hair actually grows like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some lines in there. My hair comes down a little bit. And mine actually goes down. I usually tuck it behind my ears. You have a lot of hair. Yes, I do. <laughs> and you have dragonfly earrings. Oh, I do have my dragonfly earrings. I should have put those in my picture because I love these new earrings I just got. Mom, well, maybe you can draw, like, make that little button. Oh, I could add to it? That's uh -huh. a good idea. Here we go. Go ahead and put your hair on, KK. How do you want your hair to be in this self-portrait today? So there we go. There's all the details you need for your self-portrait. And don't forget, if you need to go back, rewind the video to a special part. Maybe you missed something on the eyes or you want to touch up your mouth and change things. What about um, our nose part? Oh, we did the nose. The yeah. nose is there. But oh, you're thinking about like the sides of the nose. If you want, you could put a little bit of a line in here, hint at the edges of your nose. That's fine with me too. Okay, so Kennedy and I are gonna go ahead and we're gonna fast forward the video as we color these in. But you can use anything you have to color crayons, color pencils, markers. You could even paint on these if you want. So we had a really good time today. I hope you did too. And I hope you'll join us next time. Kennedy, you wanna say goodbye? <laughs>